Tally ho everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Civilization V Brave New World, playing as the Mayans, and what might be, and I can't guarantee it, but what might be, the final episode. So, we'll have to see. This is still going to be very intense, because he could be building spaceship parts. I am not sure, and I am very alarmed! In fact, I am very scared that this might end on a very tragic, like, like, almost... We're not going to let that happen, though, no. We've got this nuke. We've got to make this happen. We've got to make this work. I'm really hoping that, that city aims for this destroyer. Because, I mean, I don't want that artillery firing at that sub. And then me having to try and repair it. But yeah, it's going to be very risky getting the sub on, you know, through all this territory. It's going to be a mission. Because there's going to be these subs everywhere. And they're going to be taking us out. Like, that ship, I think, is gone. The Apocalypto is gone. And, oh good, they did, they did attack that, good. Alright, yeah, the apocalypse is gone. Or maybe not, good! So yeah, it's, it's kind of like one of those games, you know, like, try to get the nuke to Beshbalik. And yes, I will turn off the unit animations for it. Because, I mean, I'm not going to be cruel. I'm not just going to make it go bomp. I'm going to make it go boom. <laughs> All we have to do, though, is get it close enough to be able to fire it, though. It does look like he's being attacked here. Wow, interesting. I don't know by who or why or how, but it's happening. All right, it looks like this is a great opportunity for me. All right. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna move the ship closer because it looks like Sweden is, uh, you know, bringing obviously his navy in. Yeah, I'm not gonna fire on that city because I want to, you know, move my ship in and try to take it. Wait, what am I do- Ah, oh, just do what you want. Have fun! For crying out loud. Just have fun. Right, so now we've got the mission. This- this is our mission. We've got to get this nuclear submarine safely to, uh, to his territory. So we've got to watch out for enemy subs. Right. So I'll move this here. It's we're probably gonna lose it, but remember, it's all for a good cause. Um Oh, that's actually really awkward. Thanks, Brazil. Well, hopefully there's nothing over there that can do anything to us. Alright, that should be fine. Um Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. So we could attack that and then move back to here safely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And we'll keep bombarding this. I noticed they settled that city there. What an awkward city. But it's actually good for them because it means they can attack uh, ships going by. Um, I don't want to lose this battleship, so we'll just have to waste its shot. Its extra shot. Alright. Looks like they, uh, what did they pillage that? Yeah, they pillaged it. Or raided it or something. Alright, I'm going to move in and we'll attack that. Yeah, awesome. All right. Hello. Next turn. Yeah. No, I think this will definitely be the last episode. But it's going to be a close one. I mean, he's already got nanotechnology. That's the thing. If he's building an engine here and a um, and another spaceship part there, it, it's practically over. Like, I, I can't stop that. I can nuke the city. But that's not going to stop him in any way. I can only hope that he's been distracted by these wars I've put him in. So it's, it is essentially a waiting game. And yeah, we're going to get that great scientist, but it's not going to be very helpful, you know, at this stage of the game. Alright. I think... What did we lose? Oh, we lost our Admiral! Oh, you bastard. But we got him, we got his nuclear submarine out of the city, which is kind of what I was hoping. Oh, Brazil! Why do you have to have that battleship there? Who's being such a nuisance? Right, did we actually get um, Brazil to go to war with... Uh, where is it? Da -da -dun, dun 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 Brazil? Is at war with Carthage. Let's see if we can't get him to go to war. With, um... Okay, sick, yeah. Mongolia. No, they've still got a peace treaty. That's a shame. That's a darn shame, because I was going to invite you to tea and biscuits. Oh well. Let's see. Let me have a ponder. Get a medical lab. Now what am I doing? A medical lab? 
Oh, actually, then again, we do have like five turns. I suppose I could build something. <gasps> Missile cruisers. Let's try and get some of those going. Wow, we can only get one. Can only get one. We'll get a guided missile after that. Yeah, because that'll fill up the five turns. Um, let's see. Boom. Bam. Right. It looks like Sweden unfortunately took Ux Mal and didn't liberate it. Scumbag uh, Sweden. I mean, it's got, I mean, he's been a good guy to me for this whole game. But that's only because I've been keeping him kind of distracted. But yeah, I'll try and take back, uh, I'll try and take back Takal. Takal's the crown jewel. I mean, this was always a wasteland to me. I never really wanted it. Um, we'll take, we'll call this Takal's pride. Yeah, Takal's pride. We're coming for you, Takal. We'll get you back, buddy. You'll be back on our side. Alright, add the engine. Alright, we've, we've added the spaceship engine. Now we're just waiting for the life support, which is in Nanit. Technology. Alright. So you've revealed yourself to the Jedi. The Merit has destroyed that ship. And you can also do that. Well, you could. You could. Alright, you could do that. Alright, we need to be very, very careful here. Alright, there's is a, is a submarine there. Alright, so let's move you there. Mm. Good. Gotcha. Right. This is our escort. This is our nuclear escort. It's the only thing we can do now, like, to try and win. Alright, and then in those turns we'll see what else he's building. Hopefully just a military machine. Like, that's my, that's my only hope, is that he's building a military machine. Oh, don't do that! Oh, this is going to be a really close finish, guys. This, oh, I'm so, I'm, I'm so on the edge of my seat. Like, I don't know what's going to happen, but... Oh, I really hope... No, it, I mean, I mean, if I lose, it is because I did something wrong. I know that, but we can't let that happen. All right, let's build a bomb shelter. I mean, there's gonna be a nuclear war even when we leave to space, so <laughs> might as well prepare for the impending doom of this world. Anyways, I right, give me a cargo ship and then maybe. Oh, actually, you know what? Just get a cargo ship, atomic bomb. We can worry about the logistics of bomb shelters later. Yeah. Ah, we're also gonna get another great artist. I think was that a great artist? Ah, oh, no, it wasn't a great artist. It was a great. We're not gonna get another great writer anytime soon, but we will get another great scientist with whatever technology we want to grab, which will probably be the internet. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah, we'll grab the internet. No, 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 we'll grab nuclear fusion. That sounds like something. No, we'll grab the internet. The internet's something the world always needs. I'm only getting that, guys, because, you know, it's kind of fun. Like, it's just a fun thing to get. Not because it's of any strategic value or anything. Alright, please, Mongolia, don't pull out a super mega awesome strategy to destroy... Okay, they didn't do it. Good! But, they, I mean, we're very close now. I think we might actually be in range on our turn. Oh, the mission... The great escort mission. Ha! <laughs> Either way, it's the apocalypse for somebody. But I do get the feeling this whole world will eventually nuke itself. Alright, let's have a look. Let's see what they're building. He's embarking a force to sneak attack somebody. Well, I wonder who. Research! You're building research. And mechanized infantry there. But what are you also building in Karakorum? A tank. Okay, maybe, maybe this really won't be, um, like, quite the the finish that I was thinking. Alright, so we'll put the nuclear submarine there. Okay. There was a nuclear... There was another submarine over here, wasn't there? Hmm. Let's take out that missile cruiser, even if it's the end of the apocalypto. You know, like, let's do it. I mean, their empire is so unhappy. Awesome! We took it out. Boom. Alright, now I think we should be in range now. Are we in range? <laughs> okay, time to do this. Sometimes it does kind of screw up, um, which I hope it doesn't do. Hang on, I'll just kind of click around on things, see if we can't change that up a bit. Um, let's just make sure that it's on. So we'll fire on this city. Yep, yeah, it's on. Boom! You get to see the booms! The booms and the bums! That doesn't make too much sense. Alright, the Merit. The Merit is still here. Okay, so we'll use you. Oh, that's... 
Oh, right, Marines are good at fighting at sea. That's right. Right, we'll bring you up anyways. Either way, this is this is kind of the end. Even if it's the end for our navy. It's not the end of the universe. Kind of. Kind of is, but... <laughs> Alright, to Carl! Take it out! Oh, sorry, I forgot the thing was still on. Um, yeah, we'll move you up. We shall move them all! Move them all into position. Readying for the end. The end of days is near. Alright, hang on. Bomb, bomb, bam. Doom, doom, doom. Cool. Seriously, they do need a victory sound though. Like bam, ba da la la la. Do 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 do. All right, here we go. It's time for nuclear firepower. <laughs> oh. <Ew. laughs> oh. I love that sound. Boom. <laughs> I hope our spy was alright. <laughs> God. Oh, so satisfying. Absolutely, completely screwed him up. I mean, okay, a few tiles kind of survived. But look at that. We just nuked him. His population was about 39, 40 maybe. And now it's, now it's not. That's all I can say. Now it's not. <laughs> yes! Ah, oh, that felt so good. It is good to be the king. Oh. Alright, let's build a military base. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Alright, hang on. Um, let me just uh, turn this quick combat back on. Just so it doesn't get annoying. Oh, fantastic. So worth it, just for the one nuke. <laughs> yeah, we'll continue with the open borders thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you, you just had to park that submarine. Oh, wait, oh no, that's not his. That's It's hers. It's not his. And, oh, right, he took it out. Good guy, Sweden. There we go. Good guy, Sweden. Not bad guy, Sweden. <laughs> We've got this atomic bomb in case this doesn't work. Ah, <laughs> oh, the one new Kai fire in the game, and it's the most powerful one. Because his, his population just went back up again. He does have a lot of food around. And, yeah... He bombarded a lot of my stuff, but he didn't destroy anything. Yes! The Merit survived. Oh no, that's the Thunder. The Merit is up here. I think we're gonna pull back, though, again. Man, look how unhappy it is. Oh no, he was he was actually... Actually, we kind of fixed his happiness problem. Because <laughs> he had a massive population. He's like, oh, they're making me so unhappy. But now we fixed his problem. He doesn't have that problem anymore. <laughs> oh, that was kind of sucky, but oh well. Alright, the Bingo 2. I love that it's the Bingo 2. The Bingo 2 has survived a long line. Ah. Oh. I mean, we could just go full... No. I think we'll pull back. The Victors are coming back. We just we just destroyed the Death Star, guys. That That's what we just did. We just blew up the Death Star. Great kid. You know, don't get cocky. Oh, man. But yeah, no, he's still got those bombers. Alright, well, we're going to pull back our main fleet. Anyways, and we are going to take the Erdnet. Erdnet. Oh my god, Erdnet. What kind of sounds like? <laughs> um, actually, no, we'll attack that and then we'll pull back out. Yeah. Damn. Oh, so good though. So good. So good. Bow, bow, so good. I got a yell. Right. Put you in position there. We can move a sub here, just in case she's got anything else to hide. And, yeah, we'll keep that, uh, keep that destroyer kind of just hanging back. Right, now all we have to do is take back to Carl. And then, and then, I mean, I'll make this the exception. We will have reunified the continent, basically. Um, I mean, apart from this city as well. I could just stick another citadel here. Oh, good. Yes, proposals are great. Even though that was, in fact, that was actually a long time ago, Sweden. It's talking about a deal that, like, happened a while ago. 
It's like, yeah, man. Remember the times when we did that? Like, oh, yeah. Look at look at Pedro. His desperate attempt to win the culture victory, and he could still do it. He could actually still do it, despite being nuked, despite being attacked. He's still on track to actually winning very soon. Not not soon enough, though. Like, just not soon enough. Given a few hundred more turns, yes, but just not soon enough. Oh, man. The Sentinel. It's going down. I'm going to try and make peace with them now, if I can. I mean, after nuking them, they're probably not keen on getting a peace deal. They'll probably want to take absolute full revenge on my entire, you know, nation. Which they will do, you know, post-science uh, victory. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to, uh, I want to propose a deal. That good? Yeah, no, he's, he's really not in the mood. He's just like, oh, uh, you kind of nuked me, bro. Like, I don't come back from that, you know? Yeah, I know. Alright, Merritt, take care of that sub, and then we'll get back. Hi, sir. Okay. Alright, we've got a missile cruiser. Cool. We'll call you. We'll call you. Hang on. We should call you Tom. If any of you guys know why I just called it Tom, take out that missile, and don't end it with the R. Yeah, I know, I'm so cheesy. <laughs> oh man, they almost took out this battleship. Okay, um, well, I kind of want to get him to the um, thingy. I think we should be able to take this. Bomb, bomb. Yeah, we took it. Boom. Um, create a puppet, annex it, raise it. Yep, no, set it ablaze. Let them see what happens to those who, you know, defy us and all that. <laughs> it's the only city we'll ever set ablaze and everybody in the entire world will never forget it. Oh, the horror. Oh, what a horrible thing he did. Everybody has to coalition him now. Oh, I know. All right. It's also to make the end of the game come a bit swifter, so, you know, that's that's kind of the idea. Bam. Say it with me. Bam. Spam. Bam, spam. Spam, bam. Bam, bam. Oh, man, look at all these subs. Too bad they're out of date. Oh. All right, you just sit there. You just chill out, man. In fact, I'll bring you over, and we'll bring our general over as well. General over. In fact, also. Yeah, okay. Um. Boom. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. All right. I mean, I might as well mobilize all my forces here and just, like, you know, go straight for this city. I mean, why not? <laughs> there's, there's nothing to lose in this situation. Yeah. Cool! Cool, cool. That city is probably gone. Like, the, the story of the Sentinel. It's like the Bismarck, you know? It's the Bismarck of our world. The Bismarck that you know, destroyed a massive fleet, it spent centuries, you know, it's, it's got this massive historical record, it's a legendary ship, because, I mean, look how legendary the ship is, I mean, the Merit is more legendary, and the Merit is, well, it might, it might die, but if it survives, the Merit will be our, our, our glorious, heroic ship of the nation, but yeah, okay, it's probably gone, and that's probably gone too, or maybe not, Maybe not. Cool. That works too. Yeah, they're focusing full. Yeah, they're focusing fully on uh, this city. They want to take it back before I destroy it. Well, they could do actually, but then again, I'm probably just going to destroy that uh, marine. And then they'll never get it back. Never. Forever. Oh my god, we're almost unhappy. Whoa, what happened there? Oh wow. Bountiful ha harvest. 38 food. What is this? It's nothing. Well, I mean, it's something. I know some things. You know nothing, John Snow. Right. 
Okay, boom. Pew, pew. Now, could we take this now? No. So, just kind of stay. Stay healing up. Healing up, healing up. Ha 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 ha. Alright, you heal. Our legendary ships have survived. Oh, then again, maybe one last battle. You know, they always say that the best way. To oh, then again, I could just come in and, you know, do that. <laughs> yeah. We'll try to get the ship out of here. I think the Merit will be able to keep it alive. In fact, we can do that, and then we can. Yeah. Merit loves the spot. Because <laughs> it keeps going back to it. Alright, can we take you out? Wow, that, that actually did a ton of damage. Oh man, no, it's it's not gonna survive. Wow. Okay. Wait, hang on. No, no, it's not. Alright, well we need to pull that uh, destroyer out then. The vendetta will leave. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Sorry. <laughs> And uh, be watching some Star Trek Voyager again. That's one of the songs the Doctor sings. The Doctor. Doctor. Are you the Doctor, sir? Doctor Who. <laughs> oh, Catherine Tate as well. It's not the. It's not exactly the like the epitome of British wit or anything, but you know. Put them up. Right. You can stay there. Everybody move up. It's time. You know, like, it's, it's, that's it. It's time. It's time to end this. Dido, your occupation, <laughs> your occupation is over. Over! Ha <laughs> Okay, grab that missile cruiser. Not missile. It's, it's just a missile. That, that's what it is. Choose what it is. Alright, you got a marine going in there. Research going in there. And, yeah, no. He's actually trolling. He's not even going for the victory. Like, th that's good for me. That is actually good for me. It's just, why? Maybe I could go in and still take Turfan. Now, then again, he is he is building up a lot of military forces. He's obviously embarking his entire force to come and you know try and attack me and seize seize my territories. Man, he got walls on that island already. Wow, it's quite cool. The city of Lib. Alright, oh, getting attacked by. Yeah, they took it back. Totally fine. It's great that they're not actually destroying any of my. Um, any of my ships. I feel very proud of that. Because, I mean, like, we, we get to keep all of our legendary ships. We've got our Sentinel, the Merit. What other legendary ships? We did have the Midwings, but he died. I'm so sorry, Midwings. I. They ambushed my entire navy. Like, I mean, you saw that. Uh, it's just... Ah. Oh. It seems that I have a curse of named uh, named ships. They always, they always end up dying. Alright, we'll keep the submarine kind of active. I think there's no harm in that. Alright, we'll take out that sub. Yeah. Alright. Merit can do one last awesome favor. Do, 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 do. Alright, you can move back to uh, the city, hopefully. I mean, hope! Huh. Hope for there. And then you can move back to there. I don't think that'll kill you. What doesn't kill you only makes you stranger. Ah, <laughs> oh, Joker. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Alright, we'll put you in there. And we have this guided missile, which we can fire at that city. Which kind of didn't really do that much anyways. Alright, we'll bring the Tong cruiser back here. <laughs> oh god, I'm silly. Right, we've got this great general who can... Actually, we'll bring him to here. There's nothing we can do. Not anymore. Pow. Pow. Now, I should be able to take this now. Or maybe not. And again, hang on. Um, oh wait, that's not... Oh! Oh, bugger. Well then. Wolf pack away! Bam. I mean, that city's gonna hit us, but whatever. I don't have time for that! I ain't got no time for that. Museum. Yeah, give me a museum, alright. Museums are cool. Right. And then we'll move these guys down. We've got a mobilized military. 
which is awesome. All right, build. Oh no 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 no! What was I thinking? S, yeah, time to build the SS stasis chamber, right? Come on, guys. What was it? I know I'm always blaming you guys for it, for everything I make a mistake on. I'm learning, okay? I'm learning. <laughs> yeah. That'll do. Alright, how is everything? We'll get the internet, you know, just for lols. And, uh, yeah. Man, everything's going so well. Like, our ships are just returning from this glorious war. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's getting pissed now. <laughs> he's like, why are you building that? Kabul has declared war on Elizabeth. Yeah, I get the feeling the world is really... It's really starting to fall apart. Yeah, no, she's, she's almost there as well. So, in nine turns, we will win this game. So, I will be going to the end, uh, regardless of how long that takes. So, if this video is like 50 minutes long, then I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. What did we lose? I knew it. I, I honestly knew that would happen. Ah, I seem to be really bad with great generals, don't I? I moved him up just so that he would have a better combat ability. And then he's like, no! Why? It's okay. I can get a faith purchased uh, great general. <laughs> just, yeah. But what I was going to do is I was going to troll Sweden. Like, I was going to take the city, buy up, like, you know, like, could we? Oh, we couldn't. Oh, we could have put it there. Yeah, we could put it there. And then just troll him by taking a bit more of our territory back. Now, are you sick of this war yet? I mean, I get if you don't want to make peace. Okay. I mean, obviously the war weariness, you can see it in our fleet, it's it's pretty big. It's pretty bad. What's over here? Oh yeah, no, this sub is, it's, it's, it's dead. So, let's make sure it takes as much down as it can with it. Alright, what should we get now? Universal suffrage is always fun, but it's, it's not really going to help us. I mean, none of these are really going to help us. I mean, this this could be okay. Now, let's get universal suffrage. We'll be a full-on democracy here. Everybody can now vote. It took us a while to get there, but everybody can now vote. What's the year? Hello? 1959. Universal suffrage in 1959. Ah. What a year that was. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save all my faith and get another golden age if we, you know, if we get that far. All right. So, let's see. What are we building here? A nuclear missile. XCOM squads! Yeah! Enemy within. I think that's an achievement, actually. <laughs> oh man, that ship's getting destroyed. Okay, let's bring back the uh, the Merit. And, well, bring back the Sentinel as well. They can come into port. They can come into harbor and just enjoy their... Enjoy their... Um, their end of life sort of thing. Ha uh ha! -huh. Da, da, da. I'm bringing my military down mainly to uh, get to uh, that little crappy city to the south as well. Uh, the Luxilla should be fine. Yeah, I think you should be fine as well. Can you not fire? All oh, right. One more range. Pow. Yeah, look at my fleet. I mean, if 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 he came in now and attacked, I'd be doomed. All right, so you can capture that city for me now. All right. Um, all right. Oh, you can get March. Oh, cool. Bam. All right, let's take the city. Okay. Well, we took our city back. Awesome. Oh, very good. Very good. All right, let's just purchase a workshop. And a monument, and do we still have a... Still got a pagoda here, that's awesome. We'll also rebuild our uh, pyramid, that's it. Because, you know, pyramids! Everybody likes to watch a game of pyramid. Pak to pok to pok, sort of thing, going on. Alright, you go and take that out, and then also bombard that city. It, it, I mean, it's, it's time to end this war! I think she's had enough as well. We've taken out her navy, so we've depleted her. Ooh, hunt for Red October moment. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Kind of! Hunt for light blue October sort of thing. David Farragut. 
You know what? I couldn't think of a better time to use an Admiral. I actually couldn't! But at the same time, we just kind of wasted all of its movement. Darn. Or in the words of John Hammond, Damn! Alright, pew pew. And, oh, we got a great general naturally! Nice. It's very nice. Oh, the Luxilla, that's another famous ship of ours. Anything with, like, you know, anything that's about level 5 is a famous ship. Where do you find out the level? Level, level 5, yeah. Anything that's level 5, I always figure, is probably about a legendary or a very well-renowned ship. Alright, let's still go troll Sweden. Yeah, trolling Sweden. tra la 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 Ha 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 Alright. Next turn. Ha ha! Everything's going fine. Ever everything's going really fine, actually. Yeah, everything's going amazing! Amazing! And we got that gem. They've got the gems back. And yes, this is. The crowning jewel has returned to the crown of our, of our glorious uh, empire. Yeah. Unfortunately, you took Oxmal, but like I said. It's not that great. I mean, <laughs> I mean, really, it was just—it was just kind of a buffer city to add to my empire. It's a very vulnerable city as well. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at the intrigue. See if anything's going on. Yeah, launch an amphibious assault, and yeah, Gustavus Adolphus is plotting against us. But at this stage, it really doesn't matter that much. Ah, we're on the track, baby. We're on the right track, baby. I was born this way. Yeah. Lady Gaga. Da, 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 da. We got Uxmal. I mean, uh, not Uxmal. We got Ormus. Well, we already had Ormus, but uh, we made we made we made our relationship even more enormous. <laughs> oh. And the best part about Ormus is it's Olmec. I do believe this was the capital of an ancient Olmec, um, like empire or city or something. So that's another fun fact. Ormus is kind of historically in place next to the Mayans. So that's cool. Yeah. Ho oh, ho ho. Man. This is so great. Like, it just feels like we blew up the Death Star here. Like, we, we, we took them out with our nuke. Well, we lowered their, you know, chances of winning a lot. It feels like we, you know, we blew up the Death Star and now we're about to celebrate. Oh wow, this, this sub is taking a beating, but it is surviving. I want to take out ships, though, that are really important to him. So, like... Oh, man, look at this situation. And, yeah, see? Helicopter gunships can't go into water. They can't fly over water. They don't hover over water. They have to go in boats. It's quite sad, actually. All right, this is a legendary... Well, it's, actually, no, it's not a legendary submarine. But it is... It's one of those submarines that will have a tragic ending. That's what it is. Yeah. All right. That bazooka can do that. Bam. I can attack that also, but it's still not enough. Um, oh man. You know what, let's do this. Hang on, so we'll put this in the middle. Here's what you do. Put everything around the Great Admiral. Um, Alright, you've already done your thing. I suppose I could put you in there as well. And then you do this. Bop! And it repaired the whole fleet. Like, that, if anything, that was, like, the best possible move you could ever make. <laughs> Alright, and now you can take that. Awesome. Eh, I think I'll just take it. I mean, it's got a lot of buildings in it. I was going to, you know, put my own city down. But it's fine. It's the end, man. Like, everybody knows it's the end. The end time's on near. The end is coming. The Earth is not enough. Just generic things that people say in, in Empire Earth. Have any of you guys played Empire Earth? Good lord. Don't ever. Merit? Wait a minute. Oh no. I think I screwed the Merit. No! Oh man. Merit? I think, I think Merit's dead. I actually don't think I can get him out of the... Oh man, unless he can take a hit. Oh no, our legendary ship's gonna go down 
in like, you know, an anticlimax. There's nothing worse than a ship of legendary proportions going down in an anticlimax. It's just like, oh, it was decommissioned. <laughs> it's like, what happened to the HMS Victory, Daddy? Oh, it was, uh, it, it was decommissioned. Oh. <laughs> just like, ah, ah. Ah. Shit. <laughs> oh, well. Well, I mean, the HMS Victory is still around. Uh, it's like the HMS uh, Constitution. As Americans, as you American viewers may know of the HMS Constitution, the mighty Constitution which fought many battles. <gasps> Oh, yeah, Sweden I mean, wants to be my friend at the end of the... G oh, that's great. I was half expecting him to just, like, suddenly, you know, do this massive backstabbing war against me. But no. He's decided that we can all be friends. Um, I don't want those, but, you know, I'll accept a nice four gold per turn deal. Alexander knows it's the end of the game as well. Sparta knows. Sparta! Wow. What a great game, guys. This has been awesome. I, I, I've really enjoyed this. Yep. Did the merit go? I think, I think the merit went, yep. Oh man, I, that really sucks. We're gonna get revenge. We're gonna raise the city to the ground. In fact, we're gonna raise this city as well. We're gonna, we're gonna raise it all. I mean, even though it's got followers of our religion. Damn you, you took out the merit! Ah. My legendary ship. I mean, we've still got our other legendary ship. The, uh, where is it? Where is our other legendary ship? Oh, oh, oh we got a great scientist! That would have been helpful a bit earlier. Yeah, jeez. Alright, boom. Got the internet. Um, oh, and we got a nuke. We got an atomic bomb. Aha! That's what we'll do. We'll send our atomic bomb north. How's that? Alright, and I'm also going to move you down to here. Oh, uh, trollolol. Ho 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 Oh, Edwin Carl. <laughs> we loved you. And then you died, which was really sad. Well, I got an XCOM squad. You probably won't really get to see it in action much, but, uh, well, there you go. XCOM squad. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, good that, and boom. Destroy your stupid missionary. How dare you try to spread your religion? How dare you? Right, revenge for the merit. Where is it? There it is, the Sentinel. Our most legendary ship in the entire universe. Bada bum, bada bum, bada bing, bada boom. Boom! Raise it! Oh, there we go. Raise! It has been set ablaze. That rhymed. Ha ha! I am a minstrel, and the master of minstrelery. Min minstrelery. Yeah. <laughs> minstrelery. What a word. It's not a word, but what a word if it were. Twer a word. Twat with a twerd. Yes, goodbye. What is that? Oo Ulius Day? Nah. Whatever. Right, we have six turns and then we'll win! We will have a victory then. So yeah, sorry if things are going a little bit slow. My bad. It's not my fault. Min vän. Yeah, um... <laughs> min too late for that. In fact, I'll give you all my money. Give you all my money. Min vän. Just give me gold. Min Den kan oh. både mitt och ett folk. Nein, nein, nein. Nein, absolutely not. You know what? I'll take that deal. Money! We have 10,000 gold. We, we gave away all our gold per turn for 10,000 gold. And now we can do this and we can do... Get over it! Go into space, bitch. Yeah! Space, bitches! And we're gonna promote the arts. I don't know what we got for that. We probably got... Um, what do we get? Got a great rider! Which means we can probably get another uh, social policy. Which is awesome. I mean, it's not going to do anything for us, but hey! Money! I mean, we just spent, like, you know, two-thirds of it. But that is fine. Because we can spend the rest on city-states. Or something fun. What could we spend the rest on? Hmm. Who's a nice, juicy city-state? Tyre! Take Tyre off your hands. 
Are you getting tired of the city-state? Would you like me to have it? No! Well, too bad. Could we get there? Uh, no. Not, not even if we spent all our money. And yeah, look, our... We're now in debt! Oh, that's great. I love debt. Don't you just love it? Oh, God. What have I done? <laughs> the downward sub spiral of our empire begins today. Wow. Right, bam, bam. Would have been nice actually if we got a great artist. I'm gonna think about it. Um, pew pew. Um, and can we take this now? Pew pew. And maybe pew pew. No, we can't. What do you mean we can't? That is not acceptable. Oh well. <laughs> we tried. Do or do not. There is no try. All right, we have a new legendary ship, the Vendetta. Vendetta has replaced the Merit as the as the new awesomeness. Sorry, Merit. No, I'm just kidding. The Merit was awesome. Lost it lasted. It did it did us it did our nation many services that could not be replicated elsewhere. And and hey, the best way for a ship to go is in a decommissioning sort of way. When you think about it. Like, yeah, you know, I'm not decommissioning. Decommissioning like through battle. To battle! Can we get you there? No. Hmm. That's a shame. Oh, but we could. We could nuke it. Well, I mean, there's no point. It's not exactly... Yeah. I could nuke the Brazilian Navy. That'd be fun. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's that? Bombers. Okay, it's fine. Bombers are fine. Bombers are dandy. Handy and dandy. Actually, you know what? We're going to rebase this to Takal. And we're going to nuke uh, Dido. Because, uh, I don't know. just felt like it. I just feel like I don't feel like it, you know? Keep going to pay length. I'm sure it appreciates the production. Alright. Oh, man! We're out of oil? We're out of oil? That's actually really bad. How are we out of oil? Oh, man. We need to buy oil from somebody. Sweden! Sweden! Oh, Sweden. Oh. Never mind. Brazil! Brazil! Hola. Get two from you for sugar. Could you yeah. I mean, you can convert sugar into oil. Um, I think. There's something about that. I mean, I, I don't know. I heard that somewhere. Sugar to oil. Something. That, that Swedish Navy's been here forever. Like, what is it doing there? Is it, a is it just like a deterrent or something? A detente fleet, you know, just sitting there kind of going, well, I'm just here, you know, just in case I want to destroy either side here. Alright. Could we take that? No. Budapest? You are the pest for which I am Buddha. Budapest. Nope, we couldn't take you if we wanted to. But side on. I bet we could take side on. Because side on doesn't have any allies right now. In fact, that would be a massive nuisance to the Mongols. Um, what is happening? Are oh, the Mongols are moving their gigantic army? Let's do it. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Come on. There we go. We <laughs> got there in the end. We got there! Awesome. And they've got a Gallius, but I mean, they have a destroyer. That's. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. We'll take out that. We'll take out that, and then we'll take out your sub. We just took out two of your admirals and a submarine. <sighs> All right, Karaus, your mine. We will raise the city because I just it it doesn't fit in, you know. Like it 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 ruins the value of having this city. And then we'll nuke one of your cities, and then we'll be done. Which city shall we nuke? Which city can we actually get to? Can't get to Carthage, which is a shame. Um, what do you have here? What is that? Bomber? Well, what's that down here? Fighter. Alright. One more. One more animation to watch. Which city should I nuke? Which one seems more valuable to her? Mm, I'd probably say this city, but then again, that one's got all those missionary. Oh, we can take those out with our navy. No, we'll do it to UTIC. Here we go. Da da da! Little boy! Ha ha! There you go, fat man! Who's fat now? B 
boom. Right, we took that bad boy out. Oh, so satisfying when you do that. Nuclear devastation. Ah, ha, ha. And now we return to the quick combat. Um, yeah. Right, let's keep doing this. Let's, let's speed this up a little bit. I don't know why I did that, but apparently it worked. Take that city, and then we raise it. Raise. <laughs> I demand a raise. Right, I'll move you close. You. 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 Oh, that was you. 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 And then you. Are you done yet? Like, come on, dude. Ow. Now he's not done. He is far from done. All right. All right, she can climb over the hills. You know what? I think I'll just go after her cities. Why not? What do we have to lose? And an XCOM squad! And we shall move that down to here. Here. Just like just like XCOM enemy with it. In fact, I might even play that, guys. Like, If you, if you guys want to see me play that, please let me know, because that would be awesome. Alright, you can head just to, to Carl. That'd be fine. Alright. Yep, do that. Are you trying to provoke a war? Yes. <laughs> I am trying to provoke a war. No, I'm just kidding. I really don't want to provoke a war. But look! Two culture from that citadel. It's awesome. Love the tile improvement uh, things. And we got one of our old forts back. It's kind of like we were adding an extension to our fort there. It's like, oh, it'd be so nice if this citadel had, like, you know, a nice little extra piece to it. <laughs> and then I could even, you know, put another citadel there. Or there, that would annoy him more, probably. Annoy him even more if I put it there. Ah, oh, yeah, he's removing that fort. Ah. <sighs> it's only an after fort. Ah. Uh, <laughs> God, I'm so bad. Bad. Bad to the bone. Alright, we'll have raised the city. So he won't be able to take that back. Look at this army, though, and navy. Like, it's just a desperate struggle now. To, re to resume. But man, you, dude, you you destroyed my favorite ship, so you're gonna pay for it. You're paying for it now. The Yamamoto. I might even take these cities and raise them. Ha! Ah. Glory days. Alright, still got five turns. Wow, it seems to be going slow, doesn't it? Crazy. Alright, we'll take this out. Take that out. Take that out. And, and then you can move into here. Yep. And then you can sit tight. Um, I don't even know what to do with a worker, so go have fun somewhere. Enjoy a vacation! What do I care? Right, you can move back to here. That city has been raised very thoroughly. Bump, and bump, and move you down. And you as well, and we'll also move the thunder down, and we'll also move the luxilla down. I want blood! Blood and chrome. All oh, right, we're raising that city anyways. What's the point? Build airports! Yes, let's get some nice tourism, nice tourism industry going on. Haha! -ha. We do have quite a lot of tourism now, actually, now that I think about it. Alright, we'll move him down as well. I don't know. I think the Mongols have had enough. I think they're done. I think they're good. They're all they're all good. Four turns to victory. Ah, oh, the slow race. I'll try to speed it up though now, guys. Because I know we're probably past the 40 minute uh, kind of area. Are we still at war with Kabul? No, we're not. Good. Oh no, they're just angry with me for some reason. I wonder why! No, really, I, I, I actually wonder why. Alright, 15 turns we'll get a great rider, but yeah, no, that's that's a bit too late. I'm I'm sorry to say. We, will we get another great rider? No. I think I'll just spend the money on uh, getting a great artist. You know, just to get a golden age. You know, end with a, a big bang, so to speak. <laughs> An actual big bang, you know, like apocalyptic big bang. The paradoxes that destroy the 
the entire universe, or it may just be limited to our galaxy. Oh, Doc Brown. I love Back to Future. Might even consider it a Telltale game. I mean, I don't know. I heard it was good if you're a fan, so I don't know. I don't know how many people have actually done that one, so it could be fun to do. Um, let's see, where is it? Great artist. I am an artist. An artist. Alright, ban Coco. Why would you ban... Don't ban chocolate. I mean, Sweden, I love you, but you don't, you don't ever ban chocolate. I kind of want the international game, so it gives us something to do in the last few turns. And it gives Pedro a chance, right? I'm giving, I'm giving Pedro the chance to still win. He, he won't get that chance, though. I mean, it, it's very minuscule chance. Alright, let's keep firing. Firing on a river. Okay, so we finished up here, burning down all of that. You can return to our territory. Um, you can come round. See what's out there. Bring me that horizon, so to speak. Alright, and we'll move you in as well. The 102nd Airborne. Here we are. Ready, Sarge. Alright, bring these ships forward. It's time to forward battleship. Boom. Boom. Uh, boom. Yeah. <laughs> Get another caravan. Don't know why. We just shall. Three turns to victory! The very, very slow slog to victory. Wow, look at all that gold we're losing. I really shouldn't have given away my entire economy to Sweden. It's like, screw you guys, we're going off this planet. Who cares what happens to our, uh, to our empire? The financial collapse of our empire has no meaning to me at all. No, not whatsoever. Ah. Take Hippo Regis. We'll probably just avoid that. I don't think we'll get to Carthage, though. I mean, you know, we got. Considering we've got three turns to victory, there's no way we're going to get to Carthage. But we're kind of showing the world that, you know, like, taking Hippo Regis is like her taking to Carl. That's what it is. Whoa, what happened here? Oh, wow, you actually managed to do a bit of damage. Wow, kudos. But yeah, no, we've, we've shown the world. We've fought back, you know, against the world. In defiance, and yeah, taking 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 Hippo Regis will be just as as bad as her taking to Carl. Because I mean, she's got gems as well. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of like a, you know, we can do it too. Don't screw with us, kind of vibe. Um, international games. All right, pew, pew. Um, yeah, no. Stay. Stay. Um, yep, you attack that, and you kind of just grab that and stay. Right. Oh, well, that's not too helpful. Oh, then again, it's the only thing we can take out. <laughs> take out. When I said nuke the Chinese, I meant take to put the takeout in the microwave. Oh, uh, Kim Jong-un. Kim Jong Un. All right, let's start a golden age. A 17-turn golden age. Yes, that'll do. That will do indeed. Right, cargo ships, things that just do not matter anymore. We'll set it to Rio. You know, we'll give him the benefit of that. The nice, lovely benefit of the doubt. All right, no right. We never, uh, we never blockaded Brazil. That's fine. Yeah, because he's still training with everybody. I mean, it's, it's still happening. Yeah. Two turns. Two turns to victory. You know, assuming you don't decide that on one turn you're just going to... Look at that military. I mean, he's going to dominate the world. No, no, no. This is the foreseeable future. Whilst we're gone on our, you know, inter interstellar space mission, uh, Sweden and Mongolia are just going to have a massive nuclear war. Brazil's going to slowly stagnate into nothingness. Even if their culture is highly sought after in the world, they're going to be... I mean, they're, they're already kind of nuke. They were the test nuke. Uh, 
and yeah, everybody's becoming mutants and mutated because of all the radiation still around. Uh, Carthage is probably actually one of the nations that is handling things all right. I mean, look at London. Look at that. Look at that border. That is so funny. I'm guessing that he put like two citadels down in London, like just to screw with her. So she's got like only this now. It's like, oh, we're we're watching you. We're watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. All right, let's blow this thing apart. Kablam. Kabloom. Kablim. Kabloom. We'll be we'll be lenient. You know, we'll be we'll be lenient, uh, new landowners. Pew pew. Would you like to make peace? You would not. Very good. Saves me the trouble. Camp John. Uh, sorry. <laughs> such a such a funny tune. I may not be able to take you out normally, but I can sink you very slowly. Actually, almost pointlessly. Right, I'll spend this. <laughs> spend this. Send us to Sparta. Hey, the Greeks have done well. They survived the game and actually managed to become like sort of influential, like. You know, like, they're trading with a lot of people. They kept me alive, actually, for a long time. And hey, we're breaking even again. Damn. China denounced me because we're about to win the game. <laughs> oh, man. One turn. That's it. Mean van. They mean over tigers, sir. Sure. We'll, we'll keep grabbing your copper. Why not? <laughs> Look at that. Just these two cities. It's like, oh, no. Oh, how do you think I feel? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hey, at least you got that citadel. All I've got is the mountains. We'll just we'll give we'll give Shanghai, you know, the benefit of that. They they hung in there. They survived the game. And they survived the game as well. We have a colony that I got back for them, of course. Right. I think I think we'll just win. I mean there's really not much else to do here. If I had like four more turns, I probably could have gotten to Carthage, but yeah. Now we've won. Oh look, Melbourne has a great admiral. Andrew Cunningham. Sounds very British. Cunningham. Yes, very cunning. Aye. And we'll say, yeah. It's too bad we didn't get to our next great person either, but... Oh well. I mean, I say another like 50, 60 years we would have gotten them, but... Meh. You know, we, we almost got there. We don't, we, we, we're we ending on a golden age. We're very close to another social policy. You know, we're ending on a really good note. And yeah, Pedro almost got the chance to flaunt his culture. Almost. Right. Alright, everybody just kind of sit still whilst we end the game here. Alright, we've taken Hippo Regis. The great colonization game is over, effectively. Alright, here we go, guys. This is it. Bam! There it goes! It's going! It's going! Do you see it? Ah, you'll still see it. There it goes! You victory through mastery of science. You have conquered the mysteries of nature and led your people on a voyage to a brave new world. Your triumph will be remembered as long as the stars burn in the night sky. We did it, guys. We won the space victory. Won the science victory. Who's the man? <laughs> I turned that game completely on its heels. We were doing we were doing the worst in science for a very long time. So that turnaround, wow. That was tough. Oh, what a victory. Then look, you can even go beyond Earth. Ah, uh, uh, should I clear it? No, I'm just kidding. All, all it does is, is it takes you to the, um, the Steam, the Steam um, store place for uh, Beyond Earth. But, you know, like, it's cool that they put that in this game, you know, even though it's just advertising. So, yeah, demographics. Yeah, we were second in literacy. So, we won, even though we weren't actually the most literate, mostest literate in the world. Mostest. I'm gonna say mostest. Alright, and our, our approval was higher, so everybody in the world liked us. So, we did the diplomacy game very well. And, hey, we had respectable stats. For a second-rate power, winning the game, like, I think that's great. Yeah, we got Charlemagne. Let my armies be the rocks and the trees and the birds and the sky. It doesn't actually, he didn't actually say that, by the way. We almost got Abraham Lincoln, but he didn't actually say that. I found out that was just made up by um, the Last Crusade um, 
writers like George Lucas or Steven Spielberg or something. So yeah, that's interesting. But yeah, it's a good quote. I still like it. The ranking. All right, that was the ranking. All right, I'll take you on the tour of the of the um, the map. I mean, it's probably gone up to 50 minutes. I don't actually know. I haven't I haven't like timed it or anything. So without further ado, let's play the map. Here we go. Just to see how all the other civs did. So here we are. There's Egypt. Yeah, you remember Egypt, right? They were in this game. <laughs> it's like, what? Egypt? How did they get in here? Yeah, and everybody's expanding. It'll be interesting to see how, how Greece looked. Because they got massive, and then they just got slaughtered. He built that city, and then I took that away from him very early game. Took me a while, but I was destroying his units mostly. Look at Greece's expansion. Yeah, we took that city... We had to make peace with Egypt because, uh, well, you know, Egypt was being a total duche. Um, you're expanding, you're expanding, Brazil's there, a uh, little non-ismuf there. <laughs> and then it took us a very long time because we, we had to get our forces back in the feet. We were kind of hanging around Egypt though, like, you know, not letting them do anything. And they did move a settler out, but they never got it away. It's funny how the early game looks um, great. Compared, like, it looks different compared to the late game. And yeah, we took Egypt over completely. And then we met Greece, and Greece saved our economy. We, we were balancing a lot of stability issues throughout this game. Like, we got those barbarians constantly hampering our capital. Yeah, that was my fault. I should have gotten honor, as uh, Jay, Jay told me to do. Look at England, they got this big empire, and Greece just settling everywhere. And then, of course, England took over that of Byzantium, and we had this big, you know, we just had this long period of peace until Carthage came along with, with a coalition with England. Look at Sweden's expansion, like, boom, 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 just taking over. I get a feeling Sweden and England, you know, like, both went to war with, um, with, with Greece. Greece was probably getting greedy with the city-states, and that was probably his downfall. And yeah, then Byzantium kind of went downhill as well. It's cool that Byzantium and Greece were next to each other though. Because, you know, both Greeks. Yeah, and then, and then Dido came and tried to take my cities, but I took her. And then, yeah, Britain took that city and raised it. There was all this war going on, and wow, Genghis Khan. He probably never even went to war with Brazil until the late game. And then, of course, when he did go to war, it was an insane war. Ah, oh, and then Dido, yeah, Dido had our colonies for a long time. I was really sad about that. Look at that, Sweden's empire, and then we took that back with our navy. That was an awesome idea, though, building up a navy and just going crazy. Kind of show it, you know, proving our independence to the world. That's what we were doing. We are proving that, they, that we were a nation to be feared, even though we were going up against, you know, much higher technology, other players. And we never even took, like, any major city except towards the end. So, yeah. So that's the game, guys. I'm so happy we won. It's amazing. Oh, I really hope you guys enjoyed that. And I do want you guys to, um, like, you know, let me know in the comments of this video or of a previous videos or anything. Uh, what you'd like to see me, who you'd like me to play as next. And if you have any specific um, map type or, you know, that sort of thing in mind. Or scenario even. I'll, I'll even do, like, the Civ scenarios. Um, if you want me to do it, but just let me know what you guys want and think and um, Yeah, and if you like the series if you've if you're a newcomer to my channel Please like and please subscribe because I could always use another another devoted fan a new subscriber Oh, that's always a great thing. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching It's been an absolute pleasure to bring this let's play to you and I will see you next time till then tally ho